so in total there are 17 questions related to verbal ability or english questions and out of 90 these are 17 so there is no separate time given out of 90 minutes it is for all the sections so without much delay let's start solving so here comes the very first question despite his best efforts to conceal his anger so we are supposed to fill the blank so first of all conceal means hide it gives a sense of uh, hide uh, something and there is a hard and fast rule that whenever a sentence starts with despite or in spite of just remember the rule that the two sentences must give opposite sense or meaning so i'll give you an example you'll get it clearly so in spite of his richness in spite of his richness he is very sad or else in spite uh, like uh, despite being poor or in spite of his poverty he is happy so though he is rich he is sad though he is poor he is very happy this is how the sentence should be two opposite sense of meaning and here if we observe like he is putting his best efforts to hide his anger like uh, to hide his anger from the people so option E should be correct because even though he is putting his efforts to hide his anger people are coming to know that he was annoyed so if we observe the rest of all sentences so which doesn't give the correct sense second question comes here find the error part we are supposed to find the error part i have recently read an historical novel the very first step is to find the structure of sentence so i plus subject plus as or have plus v3 verb 3 plus object so we come to know that present perfect tense it is a present perfect sentence now finding the error i have everything is fine recently read an historical novel there is something fishy with this uh, because and there are three articles in english language a is used before consonant sounds and is used before vowel sound the is a definite article so an historical is false like it is wrong a historical novel should come so the error is in this part c like an historical novel and just remember that it is not an hour sorry it is not a hour it is an hour because though it is starting with h it gives a vowel sound an r before an r after an r that's all so you should only observe the sound not the letter consonant sound or vowel sound so guys here comes the synonym part so before this uh, a small reminder like we have provided description uh, links in the description for instagram and telegram groups so you guys go and just join those group just check out those like uh, we have previously uploaded several videos for several mnc companies how to crack several mnc companies like uh, related to aptitude or english ability or pseudocode questions or coding everything even analytical reasoning everything what not even interview experiences we have uploaded few videos so just go uh, go and check all our previous videos guys just subscribe to our channel and refer to these instagram and telegram links now here comes with the vocabulary word given is destitution so we should find the synonym I can only say one thing that there is no rule or trick to find the answer for synonym because you must be familiar with the word in some way or else you can follow elimination method sometimes if we observe here basically destitution, mean, destitution means like poverty or poorness so if you observe humility it is completely irrelatable like uh, not related moderation moderation is not gratitude poverty will be the correct answer if you ask me the like a, to frame a sentence he has been living in destitution for several years so this is how the sentence look change speech of the sentence which means that direct and direct speech and indirect speech so if it is in direct speech we are supposed to change it into indirect and vice versa and just remember that if quotes comes it is mean uh, it means that the speaker has quoted the speech in uh, within quotes so she said to him why don't you go today this is in direct speech we are supposed to change into indirect so say to changes to told in direct speech say to changes to told but if it is an interrogative sentence like it changes to asked or interrogated so directly eliminate option b and then find the structure of the sentence second step so why don't you go today this is a simple present tense it is in simple present so simple present in direct speech changes to simple past 
So I should convert it into like translate it into simple past. Why don't you go today? So why and why he did not go today? Simple past is why he did not go. Today changes to that day. And if you look at the look out the option, why he did not go today wrong why he did not go that day. Option A is the correct answer. Just follow the step by step rules and convert it. Rajesh prefers cricket than football. So if you observe the sense of the sentence like a meaning, Rajesh likes to play cricket rather than football. It is supposed to convey like no error or from. So let's go with from. Rajesh prefer, prefers cricket from football. So it's wrong and Rajesh prefers cricket and football. So if you observe the option D, the sentence is grammatically perfect, but it's changing the meaning. Just remember that it should not change the meaning. So even and is wrong. And THAN, than is replaced by then. It is obviously wrong, we know it. So just remember, it is a hard and fast rule again. Whenever prefer or prefers come, just it always followed by the preposition to. This is a very strong grammatical rule prefers is always followed by two moving on to the next i blank tennis tomorrow but i won't be able to do that because i have injured my right ankle so we should fill the blank so first of all let's observe each of these options the sense uh, the tense so it is simple future i shall play is a simple future gives and play is present simple present this is simple future will play now here comes would have played. So this is the probable case, right? So I would have played tennis. I would have played tennis, but I won't be able to do that because I have injured my ankle, right ankle. This is the correct option A. And here comes the rearranging sentences into a meaningful paragraph. So let me tell you the easiest possible uh, way to get to the right answer. So it is through el uh, elimination method. Let me tell you how it is. So if you observe the options and here there are sentences given. Now our first goal is to find out the first sentence of the paragraph. There are total four sentences, right? So if you look at it, she was sweet, she was sweet, humble, raised with good moral values. Who is she? We don't know who she is. Definitely sent a paragraph will not start with this sentence. And although they found it hard, although is a conjunction, who are they? We don't know. Sentence cannot start with conjunction. So even option three is wrong. Her father died. Whose father died? We don't know. Nothing we don't know. Like directly we cannot say her father died. So sentence has to start with two. Now let's fill it with two. And after two, let's eliminate these two options. Out of one and three, if you observe, she was sweet, humble, raised with good moral values by her mother. Her father died in an accident when she was two. So both sounds correct, right? We can fill it with one or four. But if we fill it with four, immediately three has to come because her father died in an accident when she was two. So although they found it hard to survive, the mother and daughter continued to battle with their lives. So we can say that four is uh, three is followed by four. Four and three should come together. So two, one, four, three will be the correct answer. Simply, let me tell you, Rhea was five-year-old girl. Like there is a noun, we are describing some qualities about her. So after two, it is one, like she was sweet and humble. And then we are telling that her father died. Finally, we are saying that even though her father died, they never gave up. That is how it is, option A. So changing the voice, active voice and passive voice into each other. Like the doctor advised the patient not to eat rice. So this is the sentence given. So the very first step is to find the structure, like uh, the tense of the tense it is sentence. So tense here it is simple past. The given sentence is in simple past. How, how do I know it? Like the doctor advised, which is V2 form, verb 2 form. Now the rule, how to make uh, the change. Simple past in the active voice changes to like subject becomes object and obje object becomes subject. Object plus, verse plus, verb 3 form plus, by plus, and subject. So now here, just uh, bifurcating here, doctor is a subject, it becomes the object, comes at the last, and patient comes at the beginning, so patient is will be the new subject. The patient 
so you are observing the patient was v3 form of advice is advised the patient was advised by the doctor not to eat rice so option a is the correct answer this is how we should find it and here we are supposed to fill the blank like, do not try to contact me at 9 because i blank at the library so the speaker is trying to convey that he will be at the library and no one should contact him at 9 9 pm or so 9 am or pm whatever so because he will be studying something at that time now which are the following sentence uh, like uh, following should be framed to make the sentence so first of all you should know each of these tenses so i will study is a simple future tense it is a future tense it is a future continuous tense will be studying is a continuous tense future continuous have been studying is a present perfect continuous tense which is used like whenever the action is start action has started in the past and still the action goes on we should use present perfect so we can directly limit option c i would study is a probable case this is also eliminated so out of a and b we can simply mark it as b because it is in the future so by 9 pm i will be studying so don't do not try to contact me this is what the speaker wants to convey so the complete ten sentence is do not uh, try to contact me at 9 pm because i will be studying at the library fine so we are supposed to find the closest meaning of the word given so agnostic basically agnostic means the person who questions god a person who questions god the existence of god so here we are supposed to find the closest meaning like we use it in the sense of doubt so a person who doubts everything like uh, now sure is completely opposite of the agnostic so believer even believer is opposite partial so doubter is a correct sentence agnostic stands for doubting everything here comes the antonym word like uh, we need to find the opposite word given is penitent so basically penitent means like regret so regret about your mistakes or sins whatever like if you observe the options here so healthy so regret and healthy are not opposite so we can eliminate and even sorrowful like basically sorrowful and regret are close so but here we are in search of the opposite word so let's eliminate and sick sick and regret are not uh, related though so but remorse is a word remorse basically means regret so here remorseless means regretlessness so which is the opposite meaning of regret regret and regretlessness so option c is the correct and here like uh, we should identify the part of the sentence which contains an error lorenzo could not attend his lectures because he have high fever so even if you have just basic grammar knowledge definitely you will mark this correct because so whenever he comes he is a pronoun so he is followed by has like he she it always they are followed by has whereas first person i and third person you follows have so the error is in this part he has high fever right so because he has it should be has and moving on here comes the 14th question sam blank his time towards educating slum children so which gives a sense like he is allocating some of his time to educate the slum children right now let's look at the options option a he wants his time sam wants his time towards educating no sam objects sam objects means he is pointing his time obviously wrong so it's very clear with the option d because sam is contributing his time right he is uh, contributing some of his time to educate slum children option d is correct so 15th question this is not uh, finding any error but to uh, find the best replacement already the given sentence is grammatically perfect so just a replacement for this sentence these cupcakes are so dry okay until here comma did not you add enough oil so these cup cupcakes look so dry like uh, have you added enough oil this is what the sense so now let's uh, 
find a replacement for it didn't you add enough oil is your given sentence now replacement will be did you add enough oil okay it sounds good did not add enough oil so one thing should remember it is an interrogative sentence so it is not an interrogative sentence did not add enough oil so let's eliminate you not add enough oil wrong did not add enough oil so out of option a and d so option a is the correct answer because in option d there is no pronoun right uh, like who, who is he pointing towards did not add enough oil who it is not mentioned right so option a is the correct best replacement for this and here comes the 16th question which is which will be the last question for this session so there is a public holiday october the second so simple basic rule is on when to use on and when to use in on is used for days whereas in is used for months let me give you an example my bird my i was born on 4th august whereas i was born in august so we use it for months and we uh, on is used it for days so simply you can write on because here we are referring to the day not the month on october the 2nd 